What is going on everybody? Adam here with E-Trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Thule Top Ride roof mounted bike rack. I really like this roof mounted bike rack. One, because it's super quick and easy to get your bikes locked in in the front. And of course with any other type of roof mounted bike rack, we're going to have a strap in the back. This is going to be a great option for you if you just have a roof rack and you're not really wanting to get a hitch bike rack. Maybe you just need one bike to get to and fro. This is going to be a great way to do that. It's going to be for your fork mounted bikes and also your through axle bikes as well. So what we're going to do is take it inside and we're going to show you how it all works. Before we put the bike on, we have a good look at what we're dealing with here. So this is going to work with basically any crossbar that you may have. If it has T-slots, it's gonna work. The only crossbar that's not gonna work with the T-slot is gonna be the Rhino Rack Heavy Duty crossbars. But with any other bar, whether it's round, square, elliptical, or aero bar, as you see here, if it doesn't have a track, it's gonna be able to wrap around it. And if it does have a track, you can use the track, which is always awesome. So you don't have to get a different roof rack just to get a bike onto your roof. As far as tire widths go, we are gonna have a maximum width of two and nine sixteenths of an inch. And this little guy is gonna be able to slide just like that. So that's gonna get us up to about 48 inches in wheelbase. With the top ride, we get a lot of goodies that come with it. We don't have to buy them separately, which is awesome. So first things first, if you do have a through axle on your bike, Anything from nine millimeters all the way to 15, we're gonna have that and all the adapters that you need to get that secured. But if you're just a fork mounted bike rack guy, you can go ahead and just have this, which comes in the kit, so you don't have to buy anything separate. If you do need a 20 millimeter through axle kit, we do have it, it does not come with the kit, but it's a one-stop shop here, so you can just add this to your cart if you need it. So let's go ahead and put the bike up there, shall we? For our through axle bikes, I went ahead and took the wheel off. And then usually we're gonna see the size right here. So if you know your size, great. If not, it should be right here. So we need to match it up to a 15 by 110. So what we do is we grab the adapters and they will have it labeled up on the side. So you can go ahead and take this and you just, you'll hear that little snap. Once we do that, you can go ahead and fit this in just like that. And then take our piece and put it back in there. And now that I'm here, put the back in. I'm gonna put the front in like that and watch as I shift it forward, we get this little green indicator right here and green means we're good to go. But first we do wanna strap down the back just like any other strap on any other bike rack that you guys have, make sure that the little sleeve is gonna be right over your wheels. Now that we took care of our wheel and we have it locked down in place, let's go ahead and lock down our bike. Stores right back here. All you wanna do is just go around wherever you think is best for your situation. I always go by the frame. And then you can go ahead and put that in. And if you have a locking core, Go ahead and lock it with your key. And now we're ready to rip. For your fork mounted bike racks, what we can do is two different things. We can take this and put it up into the slot and have that locked and loaded, ready to rip. And then we can put the bike on it. Or you can just go ahead and put it on your bike right now. Then we can take our bike and put it on up there. I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to do when I'm doing some crazy turns, but also just going over some speed bumps and stuff like that. So we're gonna set up some GoPros and we're gonna see how well it does. So now we're gonna go up to our test course. So we're gonna have some speed bumps. We're gonna have some oscillating speed bumps, right and then left. So we're gonna see exactly how it is. This is basically just going to mimic some of the bumps you feel down the road potholes or even just speed bumps. So if it's really going to move a lot, our test course will show it. I don't hear anything up top, so that's good. Definitely am happy about that. Sometimes you can just hear a little bit of stuff with different racks, but with this one, 
I don't hear anything right now. There's a couple things that I would recommend that you get. One, get locking cores, and if you do have a Thule rack, you can key them to your roof rack as well. Two, you're gonna have to figure out something to do with the front wheel. So what we have on the other side is just a Thule tire holder. That one, it is not included with the kit, but it's super nice to get it out of the vehicle so you don't have to store a muddy tire or worry about it getting damaged if you have a lot of stuff in there. Also, another thing that I would recommend getting is some sort of step to be able to get up on top of there. If you do have a sedan and you're, ra you're a rather taller fella, then you might not need a step, but it is very necessary for me to get this bike up and onto the roof. And if you need it, we got it here at E-Trailer. And that'll do it for a look at the Thule Top Ride roof-mounted bike rack.